For the last few days, people have been noticing a sneaky APK inside my unknown sources of my quest devices. That APK is Roblox. Now, I'm sorry to tell you guys, but this doesn't actually work. A ton of people have been asking me in the comments how I got this onto my quest and is it working? And the answer is no, it's not. The reason it's there? Well, Seeing how many of you actually want to get this working on Quest, I decided to go on an adventure and see if I can get Roblox to launch on the Quest. So what is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today I'll be showing you how exactly I got it to do that. Now there is a bunch of caveats, and I will also explain the reason as to why it doesn't launch on the Quest originally. So let's jump right in. Originally speaking, the Quest runs Android, Roblox runs on Android. So where's the problem? Why can't we just install a Roblox APK onto the Quest and have Roblox running on the device on a massive screen in front of us? We're not even speaking VR here, as there is no VR Roblox APK that we could install without rebuilding the entire game ourselves, which I don't even think is possible for the reason I'm about to explain. Well, the Quest is missing something that appears to be quite essential for Roblox to even launch to begin with, and that is Google. Google Play services. And I did originally think that maybe with the latest Quest update, we would actually be able to launch the app because for some reason in settings, it does give me the Play services version, which I thought was pretty crazy, but apparently that didn't help either. Now, this is a weird one for me, as Roblox does run on Huawei phones, and Huawei phones don't have Google Play services. They don't even have the Play Store. They have something called App Gallery. So I've tried a bunch of different things. I've tried new APKs, I've tried older APKs, and I've even tried installing the App Gallery onto my Quest in order to install Roblox from that. And it did install. However, every single app that launches from one of these services ends up in the exact same place, the welcome screen. And you can't click on login. You can't click on anything for that matter. And while there is no error message telling me that Google Play services is required to run the app, I just can't do anything. I'm stuck on this screen. I've tried every single button. I've tried connecting through ADB and forcing the buttons to press. I've tried connecting a mouse and a keyboard. Nothing works. And I've even tried sideloading the Google Play services through a bunch of these apps that are meant to install Google Play services on Chinese phones that don't originally have it. And I know that some of these apps work, but end up just bricking my quest. So not recommended. The amount of times I've had to format my quest throughout this journey is crazy, but I did eventually get it working. Now, this isn't a pretty solution, and it's not one that a lot of you are going to want to use either, but it is a WIP, a work in progress. And I'm hoping that by sharing this, I'm going to give some of you guys a place to begin, somewhere where you guys can take off from and hopefully create something I haven't yet or think of something I haven't yet. So let me show you exactly how I did it. First of all, you're going to need to know how to install APKs onto your quest. Secondly, you're going to need VMOS. We've spoken about VMOS before, and VMOS is an Android emulator running inside Android, which basically means Androidception. The best thing about VMOS, it has Google Play services. Because of this, it also means you'll be able to download any other app that requires Google Play services onto your Quest. If you don't know how to do this, check out my video on how to install APKs on your Quest right up here. To get VMOS, it's really simple. Type VMOS into your Quest's browser and go onto the VMOS website. Then click Download VMOS Pro. This should download the VMOS APK onto your Quest, and then you can jump into something like a Maze File Manager and just install the APK as you normally would would. Then, hopping into VMOS, you have to accept all the prompts that show up and grant it all the necessary permissions. Select the top option here once it gives you those two options, and then click the plus up in the top right. This will give you a list of operating systems you can download onto your Quest, and here you want to select Android 7.1 Google Play Services Edition. Once this downloads, and it might take a while, press add. This will create an Android virtual machine on your Quest. Here you might have to be a little bit patient. It will install the virtual machine and then it will throw you right into it. This can take some time. After you are inside the virtual machine, this is where the fun truly begins. Once VMOS fires up, you're going to notice an even larger problem. The fact that it's vertical and you can't exactly rotate it. Now the Quest does allow us to change the size of our screen, which is absolutely fantastic. 
However, VMOS doesn't actually seem to care. So to fix this, we need to close out of VMOS and change the size of the display before we jump into VMOS, then go into the VM settings, then go into display settings and disable portrait mode. Once this is done, you can click on your virtual machine and start it back up again. Then once you are in your virtual machine, you will need to download an APK for forced rotation. This can be found by using the VMOS browser, or if you want to sign into the Play Store, you can do it that way as well. Once you have forced rotation, you can change the rotation from vertical to landscape. Now, this doesn't work for everyone, and it doesn't work all the time, which is even more confusing. But if it does work for you, you're lucky, as I couldn't find any settings inside VMOS itself to change the rotation. Once you have this done, you can then download the Roblox app onto VMOS, and you can do this either by getting the official APK from the Play Store, or by once again using the VMOS browser to search for Roblox APK and downloading it that way. Once you have the Roblox APK downloaded and installed, you will notice that this one will, as a matter of fact, let you sign in. However, this is also where our issues begin. I did try connecting a gamepad to VMOS. It didn't like it. For some reason, there is no pass-through between the Quest and VMOS emulator, and I've heard from some people that there should be, but I'm not entirely certain whether there should. I tried keyboard and mouse. That didn't seem to work either. For some reason, that also doesn't pass into VMOS, and I think that this is actually the Quest fault because of the way it uses the mouse and keyboard and allows you to move the mouse all around the Quest UI. However, you can use the Quest's controllers, but you're going to have an absolutely terrible experience. Now, that isn't to say it's not possible, and the game does run. It actually works. But the big problem here is the controls, possibly the biggest and most important part of the game. And unfortunately, I haven't managed to get any further. I've tried multiple different apps that would allow me to share my mouse and keyboard with the Quest. However, inside VMOS, we're kind of limited as to what we can do. I can't enable USB debugging because VMOS is an emulator, so it doesn't have a USB port. Wireless debugging could work. However, because of the old version of Android that is on VMOS, it's not exactly possible. You could get VMOS with root access and then enable USB debugging. And I did actually pay for the premium version of VMOS in order to try this, but I was still unsuccessful. What makes this even worse is, of course, before I started recording, this was working on the Quest 2 and Quest Pro just fine. But the second I actually tried to make this video, it would only work on the Quest 1, which is why the performance in this video is lackluster. But if you guys were to run this, it actually runs a whole lot better. There's a lot of things that I've tried here in order to get this thing working for you guys, and a lot of resets and a lot of problems later, this is what I have. And it's a severe work in progress, but hopefully with more people working on this, we can get to something a bit more playable. But in case you guys want to try this, feel free to follow along with the tutorial and let me know what you think down below. But that's going to be it for today's video. If you liked it, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess it works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord down below and check out our Reddit and chat with us on there. Let us know how you're getting everything working and whether it is working for you. If you require help, also feel free to add me down there. And thank you so, so much to all the Patreons supporting this channel. You guys are helping me out a ton right now, and I honestly cannot thank you enough. And as usual, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.